the 24 hour vaccination. Uh, the NHS is going to pilot that in uh, hospitals in London. Um, uh, and you know, we'll look at how we expand that. But remember, Neil, the important thing is not just you know, once you go to 24 hours, you want to make sure you're targeting uh, you know, really forensically, really carefully, those who you want to protect. So the over 80s have to be protected and the eight to eight opening actually works much more conveniently for those who are uh, over 80. And of course, then as you move down the age groups, it becomes much more convenient for people to go uh, late at night or in the early hours but at the moment, the challenge is obviously supply, uh, limited supply of vaccine that needs to get into the arms of the most vulnerable four cohorts. So the targeting has to be really, really precise so that we can protect them by mid-February. That's 88% of mortality. So it, it, you know, if you just want to you know, chase volume, chase speed uh, and not accuracy, um, 24 hours works really well. If you want to chase both accuracy, protecting the most vulnerable, and of course, speed, then you want to do what we're doing, which is primary care networks, hospitals, large vaccination centers, and of course, pharmacies last week, where we launched in six, there's another 63 going live uh, this week in, in community and independent pharmacies. We are uh, moving rapidly and the NHS family, uh, including, by the way, you know, nurses, uh, dentists, doctors, GPs, and of course, the 80,000 volunteer uh, vaccinators that have come forward and the 200,000 volunteers uh, from the public who've come forward and, you know, whether through the Sun newspaper or, or other campaigns, um, are doing a tremendous job. So we're confident we've got millions of doses coming through in the next uh, few months. Uh, of course, more of the Oxford AstraZeneca, more of the Pfizer BioNTech, but then Moderna, which has just been approved, in, which will come through in the spring, and others. We've got about 367 million doses that the UK government has bought for the four nations of the United Kingdom.